Well, good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome back to CW39 Houston. It is time for Houston Happens. I'm Maggie Flecknow. And I'm Star Harvey. I feel like we're hosting a pageant or you, something. You know what? Wave to the people, Maggie. Wave to the people. <laughs> Live studio audience. But you'll notice, of course, we took the show on the road once again, yes. Star. And we decided to come to downtown Houston to the iconic Rice Hotel. And you are learning all about yeah. Texas and Houston. Yeah, it's my, it's, this is my first time uh, out in the area. It's my first time to uh, this location, and I'm pretty excited about it. Well, you know what? <laughs> when it comes to Houston history, uh -huh. I have just the fella, or should I say, fellas for you. So should okay. we introduce our guests? I'm ready. Let's go over here. We have Mr. McKinney. He is I mean, he knows everything. I feel like you're a walking almanac when it comes to Houston history. And then we have Justice Kinwise. Thank you both, gentlemen, for joining us. And you're looking so dapper and handsome today. <laughs> so I have to say, Mr. McKinney, Star is new here. Tell us a little bit about where we are. Oh my goodness, we are on some very sacred ground. This is the site of where the old Capitol building used to be. And I say Capitol because people should know this. All Houstonians, all Texans know this. If you, if you follow and like Justice Wise is Wise about Texas, you'll know the answer. This used to be the capital was located here back in 1837. So when Texas was a separate country, so this is the 1913 Rice Hotel that Jesse H. Jones built in 1913. And it was pretty, pretty significant as, as a gathering place for everybody. And you can see how beautiful it is all around us. And it was saved in 1998, opened up as the post as a Rice Loft. So here we are now today, really being able to be inside parts of Houston's past and learn about the city's past. And I have to say, Justice, it was a big birthday for Texas on Wednesday. Tell us about that. Well, 185 years. And she looks good, huh? <laughs> she looks great. And it's getting prettier every day. Yeah. And San Jacinto Day was Wednesday, April 21st, 180th, 185th excuse me, anniversary of uh, one of the most decisive battles in world history. It changed the world. It resulted in the acquisition of over a third of the United States. And it can all be traced to an 18-minute battle just southeast of where we're standing right now. It's really amazing. So start, do you have, here's your opportunity yeah, to yeah. ask questions. Do you have any questions yeah. about Texas or Houston? I do. I want to know, you know, there's the saying that everything in Texas is bigger. You know, I, I've been here. I've got to see what that looks like. Can you tell me a little bit about what that all means? Well, Texas is, is enormous. We're in two time zones, two time zones in one state. And if you drove from where we are right now to El Paso, you'd be closer to oh, yeah. Los Angeles, more than halfway, your hometown. And so it's enormous. And all you've got to do is take one Texas road trip and you find out just how big a state it really is. Absolutely. And I actually uh, learned that uh, on my very own uh, first time actually traveling through the state. I want to say in total, my trip took about 19 hours. Most of that was from the top of Texas down into Houston. So I, I definitely got that. Yeah, sure. definitely need some pit stops. And we're going to do a girls road trip one of these days too. So if you were to say to Star, where is the best spot to go in Houston? Oh gosh, the best spot. How could we even do that? I think the one thing that I love about Houston, as all the viewers can tell, is the restaurants that we have. This is the best restaurant city in the nation. And I said that on television. And I will put our restaurants against any city in the world. And you know so much about our city and so much about our state. You actually have a podcast. Tell the people about that and a special lecture you have coming up. Well, I do a podcast called Wise About Texas, and it's available at wiseabouttexas.com or on any podcast platform. And what I try to do with the podcast, it's a little over five years old, is uh, use historian-type scholarship, journal-level scholarship, but really tell stories like we're sitting on the back porch. And the idea is to bring real Texas history to consumers in a new and different way, people that may not grab a history book off the shelf. And uh, I'm proud to say it's been heard in over 150 countries in the world. So hopefully uh, we're getting the message out about how great Texas is. Yes, and there's a message you were telling me, Mr. McKinney, that is happening on Monday. Oh my goodness, Monday on the 26th at seven o'clock, we're doing a free Zoom lecture with Justice Ken Wise. He's gonna be our guest. Friends of the Texas Room is the organization. I serve as the president and we've got millions of photos in our collection over at the HMRC. Uh, and we're, we're in charge of helping to raise funds and awareness for that collection. So, want people to uh, join this uh, on April 26th, this Monday at 7 o'clock. Go to friendsofthetexasroom.org and .com. You can find everything on there. Yes, we have it on our screen and we'll have it on our website, cw39.com as well. And lastly, because we are just getting this party started. I mean, it's like my birthday. It just <laughs> lasts an entire month. I mean, Texas, thank you for having an April birthday. But what makes you so proud to be a Texan and a Houstonian? 
You know, I think it's the folks that have come before us and that have just really kind of persevered continuously. That's really Texas' story, in my opinion. And, and I love learning and teaching about uh, just these amazing titans and tycoons that have made our city and our state great. Uh, and I love what Justice Wise does because that's an example of getting the history out there so folks can do themselves a favor by joining us in the lecture, but also by following his podcast and learning about all these great stories that make Texas a great state. And Justice, what is your favorite part? Well, I think, you know, I grew up in Houston, and one of the things I'm very proud of is Houston is the most diverse city in the nation. And that isn't us saying it, that's other people saying it. But it's always been that way. Texas is a wonderful combination of cultures and has been since prehistoric times. And I think that's what makes Texas really special. Yeah, that's what I love it here, too. And Star, you're just getting started. So just, just a warm here. Texas welcome here. That's why yes. I love it. And thank you, gentlemen. We're just getting this party started. but. Um, I don't know. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. It seems like we're crying some tears there because oh, yeah. we have some rain. Yeah, we do. Not only do we have a uh, rain forecasted for today, we have uh, some risk of severe weather. In fact, we sit between that level two to three. You'll see right here as uh, you know, Texas is celebrating its birthday this month. I don't think Mother Nature got the memo because it is bringing the showers down. We'll see this Friday that enhanced to slight risk of severe weather. Notice how our highs, however, are sitting in those upper 70s. I want you to go ahead and take a look here also at the type of uh, risk that we're sitting in. Notice that Houston, we are in that level two there for slight risk. That means that, you know, some of our primary threats are hail and damaging winds. And when you look at that level three there, that orange level, you know, that secondary type of risk is the possibility of some light tornadoes. And we'll see that these uh, events are kicking off as far as our weather activity uh, through this afternoon and through our evening as well. Our later evening. Our lows for tonight are going to be a little bit on the warmer side. We'll see some upper 60s for the immediate Houston area, but as you take a look north, we do see some of those temperatures looking a little bit lower. So some 64s going on there in Conroe, just down along that coast in the Galveston area, 71 degrees. So as I said, we're getting hit with some severe weather risk today, which means we're going to get some of those heavy rain showers possibly, but is not uh, really put a dent in the drought status is so far. Currently right now, uh, Houston, we're sitting in that dry level, but there are some levels in Houston that do, excuse me, in Texas that do sit in an extreme to exceptional uh, drought level. So we can definitely use all of the precipitation that is headed our way. And if you're thinking about getting out this weekend, I'm going to say it's the perfect time to do so because these showers are going to let up today and make a way for some beautiful weather this weekend. In fact, both Saturday and Sunday, if you're thinking about you know, hey, let me get out to the beach, get on that, uh, you know, bathing suit and, you know, get those flip flops on. Don't forget to have your sunscreen because notice that we are going to see mostly sunny skies there. Temps in the upper eight, excuse me, the upper 70s for our Sunday, Saturday, a little bit warmer there. And just around town, we'll be at 86, mostly sunny skies. And on Sunday, just dropping down a little bit, 85 degrees there. And if you uh, take a look at the seven day, you'll see that uh, that heat trend is sticking around for a while. So if you just take a look past where we're at today, let's just go ahead and skip over the storms that are making their way. We're going to get that sunshine this weekend, temps in the uh, upper 80s to start that weekend as we make our way Monday, we're still going to have that heat going on there, and um, it's, it's going to still be a beautiful day, but we do have some showers that are going to come later on towards the middle of next week. So I waited to wash my car, so <laughs> I'll wait and wash it maybe this weekend. Yeah, it will yeah. be good for that. Absolutely. You're going to get that three-day stretch, so I say go ahead and do it. But I don't know if I'm ready for swimsuit weather yet. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I am. All right. Well, let's maybe we'll have a pool day this weekend. Well, let's do it, girl. Let's do it. In the meantime, <laughs> you know what? We like... To party, yes, right? We do. So we are going to still continue to celebrate Texas turning 185. But also, did you know that April is Autism Awareness Month? So coming up after the break, we are going to introduce you to one incredible mother and her journey raising her son, Elijah. So that is headed your way. So stay tuned. We're CW 39 Houston, and this is Houston Happens. Lies crushed. Before you come to Judge Mathis, you have to have your game right. Next on CW39, Houston. We're a AAA family. We found out about AAA insurance um, through a friend who had actually mentioned it a while ago. We ran the numbers and it totally worked. We looked at the statement for our previous insurer and then AAA insurance. Definitely, we've seen a huge difference. 
Switch to insurance through AAA Texas today, and you could save an average of $537 on auto insurance. Compare that to State Farm, GEICO, even Allstate. Call now for your free auto insurance quote to find out how much you could save. By switching over to AAA Insurance, we saved over $450. So with our savings, he bought more equipment. More money means more practice equipment. <laughs> In his world. <laughs> Why didn't we do this earlier? Why did yeah, it take so long? We're a AAA family now. AAA Insurance allows us to do so much more with our kids and spend more time with them. To find out how much you could save by switching to insurance through AAA Texas, call 877-585-2166 for your free auto insurance quote today. AAA Texas, helping you save more. You're strong. You power through chronic migraine. 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine. So if you haven't tried Botox for your chronic migraine, check with your doctor if Botox is right for you and if samples are available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. Most patients may pay as little as $0 for Botox. So text to see how you can save. Botox has been preventing headaches and migraines before they even start for 10 years. So ask your doctor about Botox today. Is it time to make a difference by participating in a research study? If so, call Worldwide Clinical Trials in San Antonio today about participating in a research study for healthy adults ages 18 to 50. Overnight stays and clinic visits are required and compensation up to $9,150 is available to those who participate and satisfy applicable requirements. To join a healthy adult research study, call 1-866-650-9595 or visit healthystudies.com. 1-866-650-9595. Hello, everyone. Good Friday morning. Welcome back to Houston Happens. I'm Maggie Plekno. And I'm Star Harvey. And we are in the heart of downtown Houston. I decided to bring Star to one of my favorite places. In fact, we have been celebrating Texas 185th birthday this morning, girl, uh -huh. at the historic Rice Hotel. And we have more fun facts coming up about this. But also we were talking and you're a mom and we want to make sure that we raise awareness when it comes to April because it's also Autism Awareness Month. And I don't know about you, but I've had friends where they have a child with autism mm -hmm. and it's a struggle and yeah. sometimes there's a stigma with it. But mm -hmm. I actually sat down with a friend of the show, Brooke Cheyenne, and she shared her inspirational story and she actually wrote a book about it. So here's more of that. So Brooke, you have so many accomplishments, but I would say your best accomplishment is your son, Elijah. So tell us a little bit about him. Oh, Elijah, he's, he's my, he's truly my gift. He, he's my inspiration behind everything. I like, I didn't even know how I was going through life without him like i'm just so blessed that he that he chose me to be his mommy and he really pushes me elijah is truly heaven sent he really is and elijah also has autism so tell us about this journey and when you first started noticing signs and just to kind of help other parents out there that it's okay that this happens to you and how to deal Yes, it's, I, I definitely, I definitely want to say to parents, um, there's nothing wrong with your child. Um, I can say when, when I, when my son got his diagnosis, his diagnosis, I was diagnosed. It's a, it's a joint thing. You, it's not just, oh, your son or daughter gets diagnosed and they're on their own. No. I um, mean, it's nothing to be embarrassed about or ashamed about because I know as parents, it's easy. Everyone wants a healthy child and your child is still healthy. They just have something that is special about them. It's different. Um, but I will say once your child gets that diagnosis, d don't stay in denial because honestly, it's not about you. It's about that child. And there's so many resources now. It's so much awareness now that you can, I mean, you can really just hit the ground running. Um, I would definitely say um, 
raising Elijah, it's taught me so much, but it's also taught me, um, it's actually pushed me to want to teach everyone else because mm -hmm. autism, it's not, it's not like a, a death sentence. They can still thrive. They can still have successful lives. It's just all in how you hit the ground running when you get that diagnosis. And I love your book. I think I've shared it with friends whose children have been diagnosed and they found it so helpful. So tell us about your book. Yes. So I wrote writing my book, Shh, don't say the A word. Um, it was therapy for me. Um, I would write when I was with my son at his speech therapy, at his ABA therapy, at the ENT. Um, but I wrote this book because when I was introduced to autism, I knew nothing about it. My son taught me. And when I learned all this stuff, I was like, man, I wish that I had someone um, before my son was diagnosed to, to tell me about this stuff, to yeah. tell me about things that I didn't know. So yeah, I wrote my book, Shh, Don't Say the A Word, for parents who were like me 10 years ago. So if you need a go-to, if you need that push, if you need just you know an encouraging word or you need a vent, everything is in the book. It goes through everything because like i said it's a journey and that journey is in in the book anything you need is in the book any question you have is in the book so where can we go to get the book yes you can go to autismlove.com you can also go on barnes and noble you can you can find it on amazon it's on all platforms and I have to say, it is all about the journey. And watching your journey as a mother and Elijah growing up, I've known you for a couple of years. It's really been amazing. And your life is filled with so much love. So thank you for sharing your story and a piece of Elijah with us always. Thank you so much, Maggie. It was good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. Hug Elijah for me. <laughs> I will. I will. And I just love Brooke and Elijah. She's such a strong woman yeah. and a strong mother, just like you, my Thank friend. Thank you. And yes, you definitely have to meet her in person. Now, we are in downtown Houston. Girl, our hair is going to get messed up. Oh, my goodness. I'm not ready for this rain. It, it's already starting here. Yeah, You're going to see. Yeah, even the streets are wet here just behind us. We When we were on our way in today, we you know we didn't get really hit with anything. Yeah, we brought our umbrellas. We, we did. We you did. had like five in your car, by the way. <laughs> I do. I'm always prepared. I, I literally, uh, Maggie's like, I think I need an umbrella. I'm like, I got you, girl. I had literally five back That's there. That's a good so. meteorologist we have oh, there. Always prepared. You. Always. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to have those those uh, rain showers. Actually, not just rain showers, the potential for some severe weather uh, risk and uh, oh. threats here. So that's going to all start kicking off a little bit later uh, this morning. And then we'll see it even uh, continue through our afternoon as well as uh, through our evening. We'll see here these April showers, uh, hopefully bring in some May flowers. Our, high, our, high, <laughs> our highs for today at 77 degrees. You'll see there that slight risk for severe weather. Now, as I move along with you, you'll see exactly what I mean by that. We are sitting in that level two and three. Uh, throughout the uh, southeast Texas area. For us, uh, mainly here in Houston, we're in that slight level. That pretty much means we have the uh, the risk at getting some of that uh, heavy storm activity. Even throughout southeast Texas, we're likely to see, you know, some hail, some damaging winds. Secondary, we do see the threat of some, uh, you know, some tornado activity, which could get pretty scary. Yeah. I've never uh, been in any of that before. Uh, on the brighter side of things, we do have some warm temperatures coming today for our highs. I already feel it out here. I, I definitely feel in a little bit warm. We're in the upper 70s for Houston. Just down along that coast there, also some warmer temperatures today, 76. You'll see that tonight we're shifting gears, not coming down uh, too much. In fact, we'll be waking up for our Saturday a little bit on the warmer side too, 68 degrees. Now that rain is expected to exit by midnight, which means we're waking up uh, tomorrow to not only some sunshine, but also warmer temperatures. Notice that we're nearly 10 degrees warmer tomorrow than we are today. 86 forecasted for Houston, just down along that Galveston area there, 82 degrees. Some 70s, some upper 70s, shall I say, just to the north of us. And uh, I wanna talk about our drought status. Now, all of these April showers not producing much rainfall. In 
fact, we are sitting in a dry zone there on that drought uh, monitor for the immediate Houston area. If you take a look, we're surrounded by some moderate levels and they even stretch out as far as extreme and exceptional throughout the state here. So we could definitely use this rainfall that's expected to come through today. Some areas locally expecting to get about one to two inches of some of that rain to the north of Interstate 10, maybe some higher totals into the south, a little bit less. Our 10 day is going to show that after that uh, breezy uh, condition exits, as well as these storms for today, as I said, this weekend, we are in store for some sunshine, some warmer temperatures. As we make our way to Monday, we are not getting rid of that heat wave. We're going to see that we'll be in the 80s at least through the middle of the week, and we're going to see another chance at some light showers towards the middle of next week, which we could definitely use here. Yeah, definitely want it. I know my dad just planted all of these flowers, so we want to make sure that you don't have to use the sprinkler system. Absolutely. Now, you will notice that we love to dress the part. Uh -huh. um, we have on yeah, outfits. <laughs> Why do we have all these outfits? Also, um, <laughs> girl, we both wore the same belt and we didn't even plan it. We didn't. We didn't. We're just in sync <laughs> like that. But here's the thing. We decided to represent because yeah, that's right. We are still celebrating. It was on Wednesday, but we're still celebrating Texas's 185th birthday. Wow. I say she looks good, girl. She looks darn she good. She didn't even have any plastic surgery. <laughs> Anyways, in the meantime, though, we are going to go celebrate, and we have some cake coming up. Cake for breakfast. Why not? Yum. So stay tuned for that and more. This is Houston Happens. Question for you. Ever forget to close a fridge door? Accidentally leave a window open with the AC going? Yep, mm-hmm, me too. Luckily, the new Reliant Truly Free Flex Days plan gives you free electricity on your two highest use days every week, up to eight free days a month. Plus, we'll upgrade your plan to solar on us. So call 1-866-RELIANT and switch now. <clears throat> Reliant, that's power your way. Express Flooring. More than just words, it's who we are. We bring samples of flooring to your home on your schedule. We have a massive warehouse filled with in-stock flooring where installation can begin the very next day. Save time and money and call Express Flooring. Call 855-MY-FLOOR. $12,720. That's the average cost you pay for term life insurance over 20 years. $12,720 that you could spend on family, loved ones, or yourself. With the return of premium life insurance plan from Senior Life, getting all that money back is possible. That's right. With return of premium life insurance, we don't save you hundreds of dollars. We save you thousands because we give you all your money back. It works like this. If you pass away while you're insured, your loved ones get a check for the coverage amount you chose. But if you're still living at the end of the term, you get back all the money you paid guaranteed. Spend it any way you wish. Why would you buy life insurance from another company when Senior Life gives you all your money back? Get all your money back with return of premium life insurance from Senior Life. Call the number now for free information. You have no obligation. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Orton, board certified plastic surgeon and host of The Doctors. If you're like most people struggling with areas of stubborn, diet resistant body fat, then it's time you call Sotobello. I lost two inches here in the waist and I lost three and a half inches here in my hips. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. I got to buy four brand new bikinis. I had abs after Sonobello. Sonobello can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly on your stomach, back, or even your thighs. I actually tried a bikini on and I looked in the mirror and I thought, wow. Call 1-800-815-6629 or go to sonobello.com. Welcome back to Houston Happens. I'm Maggie Fleckno. And I'm Star Harvey. And we decided to bring the party inside because of that stupid rain. We yeah. were supposed to go out tonight and we actually had to cancel because I of the know. rain. And the hail possibility. So some severe weather ruin in our birthday. I know. Make sure though <laughs> that you follow all these storms on our app. So it's right with you in your pocket. Yeah. You can also take us with you in your pocket. But here's the thing. We want to take you 
to a birthday party. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> Did you know Texas turned 185? So we are joined once again by our good friend, Mr. McKinney. Thank you so much for having us. Abs my pleasure. So tell us again where we are. And I don't know about you, Star, but ever since I was a little girl, I've been obsessed with the Kennedys. So tell us about this. Yeah, this, uh, this site has a connection with JFK, of course. Uh, he stayed here twice, but he also stayed here the last. He was here the last, the day before, he went over to Dallas, and, uh, and we all know what happened that very sad day. So he was here for LULAC Council's 60 event. Uh, it was part of his campaign to get reelected. So he was here. Jeez, mm -hmm. can you believe it? I like, can't. if these walls could talk, for sure. And then just to see, like, the elevators and just the history here, it's really amazing. And you're all about history, Mr. McKinney. I want to go on the Houston History Bus, for sure, and make sure that Star gets to go on board that with us. But you also have some special things coming up. Tell me about it. You know, we, we do cover the Rice Hotel until on board uh, the Houston History Bus. But uh, on Monday, the 26th, I've got the pleasure of serving as a president for the Friends of the Texas Room over at the HMRC, the Houston Metropolitan Research Center. Everyone should know about the HMRC because we have lots of amazing photos in our collection, and we've got a great guest speaker. Justice Ken Wise is joining us on April 26th at 7 o'clock, and uh, we're also joined, by the way, with Bobby Jucker, Robert Jucker over here with Three Brothers Bakery. So a lot of history going on. He's celebrating his 100th anniversary, 100th podcast, 185 years, and they've been around for 72 years so lots of history all around us including at the rice hotel yes uh, three brothers bakery i mean we could not celebrate look at this cake look at go big or go home sorry you'll quickly learn everything really is bigger yeah, and better yeah. in texas i see <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your story with the bakery well my story is my family started the bakery here in 1949 and uh, after the holocaust they came here to the united states the three brothers and their sister and they only knew the bakery, so they started a bakery here, and it's been going for 72 years. I'm the fifth generation in my family to be in the bakery business, and I'm carrying on the tradition. That's really amazing. I'm all about tradition. And what is your favorite part about being a Texan or a Houstonian? Uh, Texas is in a special place. You know, um, it, it just, you feel comfortable here. People are nice here. And you don't find that everywhere, believe it or not. So Texas is very special. Um, I have a friend who could live anywhere he wants. He prefers to live here in Houston. And uh, you know, you can get on an airplane, you can go someplace quick, you can go on vacation quick. It's just a great place to live. It really is. And Star, you're going to find that out. And like you said, Justice, it's part of everything. The Three Brothers Bakery, it's been part of a lot of milestones in your life, and we are going to celebrate this milestone now. I mean, I don't know about you, but cake for breakfast? What? Well, it's such a treat. I'll I know. <laughs> so we are in for more of a treat next week. Make sure you tune in to CW39 Houston. No wait, weather and traffic signing off. Have a great weekend. Should we blow on the horn? Yeah. Ah, happy birthday, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take your